Okay. And I'm going to try something here. Um, Let me see if this will work, Lord willing. All right, I think it will. Um, I'm, I'm using a different tool to draw on the screen tonight, and hopefully this will uh, come out. You know what, I, I don't think I'm going to risk it this time. Let me, I'll do this on a practice. I apologize for that. Um, let me get my pen active. Okay, um, we're looking at the British pound on a 60-minute bar. You can see that here. And when, when we're talking about channel trading, Channel trading it, or counter trend trading happens anytime the market is trading between two easy to identify points. So we have support at the bottom and we have resistance at the top. I know that's probably hard for you to read. And really what the market is doing is it's simply trading between two different price levels. And these two price levels are either going to be along the same angle. You can see that these are slightly different. Um, or they're going to be, as you can see here, at different angles. And what's uncanny about the market is that it really does have uh, periods of time where it will go almost to the penny along the same angled line for sometimes weeks and months. Uh, so the, the key here, when, when you're looking to trade in between channels, or you're looking to trade uh, specifically on a counter trade system, is to remember that you, you, want, you want the market to show a lot of momentum coming into the area. Okay, so it's, it really is important that the market goes from uh, up here at the top at resistance down here to support fairly quickly. Uh, in fact, the bigger the bar that you can see here, the better. Now, why do I say that? I say that because the, when you see momentum in the marketplace, you, what you're watching are traders making a very uh, uh, concerted effort, or they're, they're just being decisive is what I'm trying to say. And basically what traders are saying is there is no way on God's green earth that the pound is worth more than 99.70. It's not worth any more than 99.40. It's not worth any more than 99.30. And they're doing it with, with, with decisiveness. So you, you're seeing big orders come in the market. You're seeing large bars come into the market. So the key is observing what's going on. You want to see that the market is pushing down fairly quickly. Because once we see the market get down here to support, okay, once you see the market get down to support, it's critical that support holds for the whole channel trade to work. Okay, now this is where some traders will, will use moving averages. They'll go down to a very small time frame. Uh, like they may go down to a five minute or even a one minute chart and, and they'll wait for a moving average to cross over. Um, I, I really don't think that's necessary. I prefer to use the three bar reversal and the little dipper to give me a clue. Here's a very good example of a little dipper right here. Okay, you see the market pushes up very quickly and then it comes down very quickly. Okay, it's, there's no sneak attack here because the market isn't breaking through a low. If the market had pushed through this low here, this would have qualified as a sneak attack, but that's not what happened. Okay, what the uh, pen? There we go. The market pushes up and then comes down very, very quickly, forming uh, a low in support. Okay, here's support. The market then pushes up. Here's the little dipper pattern. This is where I want to see the market hold support if I'm going to counter trend trade. Now, I, I call this counter trend trading because the market in the short term is moving down. That's why I call it counter trend trading. So the market pushes up very quickly.